okay so I've ta now taped the corner um, so that will hopefully keep the crystals in place better until I've got the resin on them and then the resin will do the job and I can take the tape away So that's where that I'm going to have that area there. Like that. But I'll have to move the large crystal to put the resin underneath. And then oops. So I think something maybe like that. it. I think I'm happy with that. Okay so I'm going to mix up a small amount of resin just to drizzle over um, 
and hold these in place until we start working with them and then they'll get a little bit more resin to hold them in place as well um, and I'll be back when I've mixed up a little bit of resin okay so I've got my resin mixed up I'm going to start off by putting some resin under this the large crystal to hold that in place it's going to pour a little bit for that one and then I can work around it so I want the crystals to go right up to the edge of there I also want them to go to the edge of the picture and then I'm just going to drizzle the resin on There we go. Okay, so that's all the crystals um, on with a, a drizzle of resin. So tomorrow I'll be back to um, take off. Got the tape stuck to my glove now. I'll be back to take off the tape on the edge and um, start with laying the next layers of resin down. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Hi, welcome back. So today we're going to set down the, um, the layer of colours on this geode wall art. The colours that I'm using are Arteza Crimson Red, Arteza Cochineal Red, a red mica powder which is from um, Amazon, I'll, I'll add a link below, mixed with Arteza Strawberry Red Mica Powder. I'm using a black acrylic paint. I think that's all of my colours. So I've gone ahead already and mixed my colours together. The resin that I'm using is Resin Pro um, Art Pro, um, simply because it's the really thick high viscosity one that stays where you put it. Um, so I've chosen reds for this one. It's a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I'm not adding any white, so it makes it even more out of my comfort zone, but I thought it would be nice for a change. So I'm going to start by laying down some red.
okay so I'm going to let that cure up now and then I'll be back either later on today or tomorrow to do some um, acrylic paint marking on there and then I'll put a final coat on so um, I'm quite pleased with the way it looks so far it's a very subtle effect from the different shades and I like the black in there too um, so I hope you like it as well and um, I'll be back soon bye for now Welcome back. So today is the day I'm going to do some acrylic paint marking onto the um, this wall art geode. I've got some colours. Um, I don't want to use too much. I'm not sure whether to use white or not at the moment. So I'm going to start with gold I think. Probably enough. I think I'm happy with that. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to add a couple more crystals around the edge just here, um, and then with that, with that, I'll seal those in with my final layer. I'm going to seal everything else with a final coat, um, and then um, then I think I'm done. So I'm happy with that. Um, I'll mix some resin up and I'll be back to pour the final coat on. See you in a minute. Okay, so I'm adding the final top coat to this piece. Again, I'm using the um, Resin Pro Art Pro because it's the ultra high viscosity resin that stays where you put it. Um, the downside to that is you do get a lot of bubbles but um, they will just pop away with the heat once, um, once I've got the resin in place.
So there we go, that's the final coat. So I'll leave that to cure up now. It'll take a few hours to cure, it doesn't take very long. Um, and then I'll be back to show you the final results. So I'll see you shortly, bye for now.